Hello everyone and welcome to another unlock tutorial from unlockresellers.com. In this video I'll show you how to unlock a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 model F956U locked to T-Mobile using the carrier relock method with Fast Unlocker Pro, a technique that currently works for many new US Samsung models like the S24, S25, Fold series and more from carriers like Verizon, T-Mobile, TrackPhone, US Cellular and others that don't ask for unlock code. The process is simple and fast and unlike other tools you don't need to register an account. For Fast Unlocker Pro you just log in with the username and password we provide. Once logged in connect your phone with USB debugging on and press check read info. If your phone is supported for carrier relock the carrier relock button will become active. Click it and in a few seconds you'll be able to select the networks where you want your device to work. One great feature of Fast Unlocker Pro is that it lets you select all networks from a specific country in just one click, which makes the process much easier. Plus, it shows you the full network count so you know exactly how many you selected. To ensure it works properly, it's important to select exactly 8, 16, 32 or 64 networks. From experience, selecting 64 might not always work. So to stay on the safe side, we recommend choosing 32 networks that you actually plan to use. After that, just press OK and let the tool do the rest. Once finished, you'll see a success message and a prompt to reboot. On your phone, you might see a retail mode platform open. That's normal. Simply reboot manually and your phone should now connect to the selected networks. This method appears to be permanent. It survives firmware updates, resets and restores, but be aware that future software updates might patch it. You can get Fast and Locker Pro credits from unlockresellers.com where we offer a full range of GSM tools, credits and activations. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more GSM unlocking guides and updates. See you in the next one.